In this video, we're going to look at an example of matrix multiplication. Specifically, we're asked to multiply a 3 by 3 matrix times a 3 by 1 matrix. Now, we know this multiplication can be done because the number of columns in A is equal to the number of rows in B. And when we multiply a 3 by 3 times a 3 by 1, we'll end up with a 3 by 1 matrix. So go ahead and try this out. Remember that the technique for matrix multiplication is the same as we've always done. In other words, in order to find the entry in position IJ in the product matrix AB, all you have to do is multiply the ith row of A by the jth column of B. And B here is actually, you can think of it as a column vector, it only has the one column, so that's gonna make it even easier. So go ahead, try this out, and we'll continue together once you're done. So let's have a look at the solution. So first of all, let's write out the matrix multiplication that we plan to perform. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be multiplying the matrix A by the matrix B, which is, you can think of as a column vector. So our key step here is to perform the multiplication. What we're going to do to find the entry in position 1, 1 is we're going to multiply the first row of A by the first column of B, and in fact B only has one column, so we're always going to be using that column. Anyway, so for entry 1, 1, we've got 2 times 3 plus negative 5 times negative 1 plus 1 times 2. Next, for entry 2, 1, we work with the second row of A and again the first column of B, and again there's only one column in B. So what we've got is 0 times 3 plus 3 times negative 1 plus 4 times 2. Finally, for entry 3, 1, we work with the last row, so the third row of A, and again the first column in B, and what we have is negative 7 times 3 plus 1 times negative 1 plus 8 times 2. So here we have our 3 by 1 resulting matrix, and all we have to do is now the arithmetic to simplify what we have in each entry. So in entry 1, 1, we've got 6 plus 5 plus 2, so that's 13. In entry 2, 1, we've got 0 minus 3 plus 8, so that's 5. And finally, in entry 3, 1, we've got negative 21 minus 1 plus 16, so that's minus 6. So we're done. We end up with our 3 by 1 matrix. And again, the rule we followed is the same rule we always follow. Multiply the ith row of A times the jth column of B in order to figure out entry IJ in the product matrix AB.